Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to embed a Google map onto your website page. So let's go ahead and open up the web browser and we'll go to Google map. Just type in Google maps into your search engine and we'll click on Google maps here. So we want to search for something. So I'm going to search for my company, which is DCP web designers. And I've got an address located here and I'm going to click the share button. When I click the share button, I'm going to click on embed here and I'll be able to take this embed code. So I'll click copy here and I'm going to go over to my website and this is my new website. So you should come check it out. Make sure you check out the blog. You can find lots of tutorials, other tutorials, lots of different subjects. So I advise you to come and check that out when you get a few minutes But on the contact page here. I want to place a map just underneath here in between the form and the content above. So I'm going to go to the admin control panel and whether you're using WordPress or using a custom content management system like I'm using, it doesn't really matter. The goal is to embed the map. So we go to Google Maps, we copy the source code right, for the map here, the embed source code here. So I'm going to go to my contact form or my contact page. And let's just expand this. So you can see the same information that you see on the contact page here, right? There's a form down here. So at this position here, I want to add the map. So I'm just going to type in add map here, right? Just like this text here. So when I go to the source code, because you need to be able to see your source code. So if you're using something like WordPress, you should be able to see the source code and you'll see something a bit like this, maybe some other type of code as well. But wherever you want to place the map, type it in, add map. And then when you go to the source code, it's really easy to find that position right here. It says add map. So I'm just going to press control V or you can press uh, right click and paste but control and V will paste the map into that position I'm going to minimize this and go down and save this page and if we go back to this page and refresh we'll see the Google map here so it's not quite the right size maybe we can make it a bit wider I'll do some other work on this to make it responsive but in, in essence I'm just showing you how to embed a map right so we could leave it like this but let's try and make it a bit wider let's go back and edit it one more time and we'll go to the source code and we'll expand this and we can see inside the Google map settings you've got the height settings here so we might make the map like 400 high and I think we need to make it around uh, about 1110 pixels should be about right for the width so let's save this and refresh now you can see the map here so the map is not as tall it's 400 rather than 450 and we've made it 1110 10 pixels wide so it sits nicely with the form below and the content above so that's simply how you go about adding a google map to your website page so it doesn't matter if you're using joomla it doesn't matter if you're using um, woocommerce or wordpress or any sort of content management system if it's a good one you should be able to go in and edit and when you're looking at your page there should be a button to see the source code as long as you can see the source code you can find the position in your inside your source code by typing in um, some sort of placeholder first, look for that placeholder and then just cut and paste in the Google map um, embed code and then you're good to go, right? So let's go ahead and save this one more time. We'll refresh it and just check it. The map is fully functional so you can move around the map. You can zoom in and out. If you want to zoom, you have to hold down the control key. You can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out of the map. So that's where my business is located. This is London and here we go. This is the whole of the UK, so I'm right down here somewhere. Okay, let's go ahead and minimize this. That's how you go about embedding a Google map into your website page. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.